I've never seen fire move so fast. It danced with the wind. I thought the propane tank was going to go. And took a hard spill outside the home of Lori Miller's grandma. I don't know, Grandma. Won't be seeing you looking through the windows at us no more. Oh, I tell you, it was a bad deal. Any way you look at it, it was bad. Bad doesn't begin to describe it. We could hear all the ammunition going on. Oh, yeah? And that's when we were out, I don't think it's safe! <laughs> It smelled like gunpowder so much, and we could hear shells going off. I'm like, okay, you don't know if it's going to go ping, 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 ping this way. The horses out back hoofed it. If they would have been under the loafing shed, they would have been gone. Just as fast as Florence and her family evacuated. Oh, there comes a plane over. He's probably going to take a picture. No matter what angle you look at it, you'll never know what was truly lost. You lived here a long time, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I probably was here for better than 70 years here. 70 years, jeez. Seven decades worth of memories were made here. Weddings happened. Grandma's rings are in there somewhere. And loved ones were lost. I'll tell you, if he would have been here and seen what he just would have passed out. It would have just killed him. Because he couldn't have talked. It's hard to say goodbye to something that is already gone. But that wire was down. We knew it was live, so we tried to go through there, and the posts were burning. Now it's about holding on to what is left. Family. I don't know. It was something. With photojournalist Kevin Sullivan in Yuma. Oh, man, it was unbelievable. This is Kevin Torres, 9 News.